Hello, and thank you for joining me. In today's video, I will explain the principles of quantum mechanics in Minecraft. But before that, a quick disclaimer. Quantum mechanics is a complicated topic, and the ideas proposed go against conventional thinking. Examples shown in this video may not be able to capture the entire nuance of an idea. Uh, no mathematical formulas will be shown in this video, and uh, my credentials for this topic is that I took a college class about quantum theory and passed, so just trust me. And without further ado, cast aside any foolishness you may have, and follow me. Hello, Narrator here. I will only be covering basic core concepts and ideas of quantum mechanics. So all the complicated math parts like Dirac equation, Schrodinger's wave equation, and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle will not be covered at all. There are four concepts that I would like to introduce to you. Those concepts are wave particle duality, superposition, measurement and observation, and finally, quantum entanglement. Starting off, wave particle duality. What is it? Well, it's a concept where a quantum entity exhibits both the properties of a wave and a particle. This can be seen in light, where, for example, visible light shows colors based on its wavelength. But we can also classify light as a stream of photons or particles. Let me back up a bit though. First, let's define what a particle is. Simply put, a particle is a basic unit of mass or energy. Let's consider thrown objects in Minecraft to be particles. They are easy to understand. You know, snowballs are particles. Arrows are particles. When they are thrown, they hit things, and when you hit by them, they hurt. Oh, oh. Well, here we have a wave set up with pistons. What was a wave? Well, simply, it's a wave. You know, it goes up and down, up and down, in a forward motion of sorts. As, as as simple as I will put it. Um, that's really cool. What was that? The wave equation. That? Oh. What the? the heck? Ah, now that my guinea pig has arrived, I can show you the final demonstration for this topic. Below is Young's double slit experiment by using a player and 200 skeletons. We will classify the volley of arrows shot as particles. As you can see, when the player tries to leave, he is bombarded by particles. Now, these particles can only hit him when he's in direct view of the source, the skeleton. However, in the actual double slit experiment, there are not only two spots lit up by light. The entire back wall is usually lit up by bands of light. Or, to put simply, the volley of arrows should travel in a wave-like fashion that allows them to strike spots that are not in direct view. Or, to put in even simpler terms, there's no safe spot in this kill box. Well, guess it's time to talk about superposition. <laughs> Here we have the fictional quantum chest, and it's in a superposition of having only a diamond or a gold block. Let's observe. All right. Okay. Time. Well, that's not quite right. See. Superposition is when an entity is in limbo between states. The reason why when I open the chest and there is stuff is because I am now observing the quantum object. When you observe a quantum object, it goes through decoherence, or simply it loses its quantumness and becomes a definitive state. So superposition is actually more focused on the idea of the chest and what it could contain instead of the opening of the chest and seeing what it contains. With that in mind, looking at this chest, now it could contain anything. It could contain diamonds, emeralds, dirt, even a boat. Unfortunately, there is a limit. See, 
quantum objects can only have certain discrete states, but they make up for it by changing the probability of how they end up in each state. Here's another example. Say hello to Milton, Schrodinger's cat, I think. Anyways, Milton is in this nice test chamber with a dispenser in the bottom. And in that dispenser is a bucket of water. And also a bucket of lava. After I hit this lever, there's a 50% chance that Milton dies in lava or he floats on water. From my position though, I can't see what happens to Milton. And I've also turned off sound so I can't hear what happens. Only you will know. Alright, here goes. You know, when trying to determine the quantum state of a quantum entity, a test will need to be repeated a lot of times. And frankly, I don't want to find out if there's a special place in hell for killing virtual animals for the sake of science. So let's do a more humane and practical test. Hello. <laughs> this dispenser has a stack of diamonds and gold. When I flick this lever, it should give me either gold, <laughs> there we go, or diamond. After flicking this uh, 128 times, my inventory <laughs> should be half gold, half diamond. But you know, a sample size of 128 is not enough to confidently declare the result. Therefore, we need to test many more times. These are all set up the same way. Oh no. Okay. Oh, it's a little laggy. Uh, after enough tests, we can confidently declare that the dispensers set up like this is a two-state quantum object that 50% of the time will give me gold and the other 50% of the time will give me diamond. There we go. Alright, <laughs> now on to the final topic. Quantum entanglement. It's basically... Ah. What the... Ah. Ah Holy shit, I got out of here. Oh, fuck. A few moments later. Now that I have successfully evaded the authorities, where was I? Ah oh, yes, quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is basically when two entities are linked in such a way that figuring out the state of one entity instantly grants you the knowledge of another state. For example, take these two flowers, gather these up, I'll place them in this hopper, and now they are in this dispenser. Right now, those two flowers were sort of entangled in the dropper. And since we know the initial conditions, it being a red flower and a yellow flower, when I reveal what is behind this wool, we should know what flower is in the dropper that's left. So, one's dispensed, and it's a yellow flower, meaning the flower that's left in the dr dropper is red. Let's do this one more time. This time, the initial condition is say that I wasn't able to escape the authorities. Say that I failed the MLG water bucket and was hauled off to prison. The me in prison right now will be in dire need of some tools to break out. So let's only send them half of those tools. Lever, TNT, 
One's in there. Off it goes. Having received the package, the prisoner checks it and sees it's got TNT. In disbelief, he checks again. We now instantly know that on the other side is the lever. And given no other option, there's only one way out. And that is it. You now have a poor understanding of quantum mechanics. But before you go, I have one more thing to say. Thank you for watching. And you have just watched a video about a complex and obscure topic posted on April 1st. Now, all it would take is just two little words and I can invalidate the last 11 minutes of nonsense I've just spewed and edited together. April Fool. Ah! Hello, and thank you for joining me in this video. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to say. To be honest, I'm a little lost. Thank you.